Stop eating these foods now. They're making you sick. These seven foods are marketed as healthy foods, but they are not. They are unhealthy foods and could actually be poisoning your health and making you sick. These foods are often found in stores labeled with terms like all natural and whole grain, making us believe they're great for our health. But what's lurking beneath those labels? Each of these foods has hidden ingredients or harmful effects that can seriously impact your well-being. And trust me, you'll want to stick around until the end because the last item might shock you. It involves an experiment I did myself in my basement with surprising results. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, comment your views on this video, and share it with your friends. Watch until the end to get access to the whole list of seven unhealthy foods that are marketed as healthy. Let's get started with the first food granola bars. Think about how many times you've reached for a Nature Valley or similar wholesome snack. They're branded to seem healthy, with claims like whole grains and a touch of honey, so it's easy to believe they're good for you. But don't be fooled. Ignoring the nutritional facts on the label, which can be misleading, let's take a closer look at what's actually in them. Right at the top of the ingredient list, we see whole grain oats. Sounds healthy, right? Here's the catch. There's no indication these oats are organic, which matters a lot. As you scroll further down, you'll see a tiny note. Contains bioengineered food ingredients. This essentially means they're made with GMO ingredients, often paired with glyphosate, a controversial herbicide. Glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, has been associated with cancer risks and other health issues, so much so that General Mills, which produces Nature Valley, had to drop the 100% natural label after facing legal challenges. Then, we encounter another familiar ingredient, sugar. But here's where it gets tricky. There's no clear indication of what type. Most likely, it's beet sugar, which is often genetically modified. As we move down the list, we see canola oil or sunflower oil, both of which are processed seed oils. Seed oils like these are high in omega-6 fatty acids, which can contribute to inflammation in your body, especially when consumed in excess. Next up is rice flour, a refined starch that quickly turns into sugar once consumed. It's followed by honey and brown sugar syrup. While these sound like healthier options, the reality is that they are highly processed and will create a significant spike in your blood sugar levels. A single serving of these granola bars contains nearly seven teaspoons of sugar, hardly the healthy snack they market it to be. Now, let's move to the second food on the list. Agave syrup. This popular sweetener is often marketed as a healthy alternative for those watching their blood sugar or following a keto diet. Its low glycemic index has convinced many people that it's safe for diabetics or those looking to avoid sugar. But here's the problem. Agave syrup is highly processed, which leads to a high concentration of fructose. In fact, agave syrup can be up to 85% fructose, which is even higher than table sugar. Agave syrup actually contains more fructose than high fructose corn syrup. This makes it extremely challenging for the liver as the liver processes fructose similarly to alcohol, as a toxin. So, while agave might rank low on the glycemic index, the high fructose content still puts stress on the liver and can indirectly impact insulin levels, contributing to diabetes, insulin resistance, and obesity. When you consume fructose in such a concentrated form, it can lead to liver damage over time. Agave syrup isn't the healthy alternative it's made out to be. Next on the list is flavored yogurt, which is often marketed as a healthy snack option. It's convenient, contains calcium, and is often labeled as a probiotic. However, these flavored yogurts are loaded with sugar, sometimes more than a candy bar. With around 30 grams of sugar per serving, this healthy snack ends up being a sugar bomb. The high sugar content can actually feed harmful bacteria rather than the beneficial probiotics we're led to believe are in the yogurt. 
most of these beneficial microbes won't even survive the stomach acid to make it to your gut, so the probiotic benefits are minimal at best. If you're going to eat yogurt, go for the real thing. Choose whole milk yogurt without added sugar. Bulgarian or Greek yogurt are better options because they have fewer additives and lower sugar content. Even better than yogurt is kefir, which has a wider variety of beneficial bacteria, providing more diversity to support gut health. You can add berries to plain kefir for some natural sweetness, and you'll get the probiotic benefits without the excess sugar and unhealthy additives commonly found in flavored yogurts. Now, let's talk about non-dairy creamers. These products are marketed as a healthier alternative to regular cream because they're lower in fat. But the reality is quite different. If you look at the ingredients, these creamers often contain high fructose corn syrup, glucose syrup, maltodextrin, and unhealthy fats. They may even contain hidden trans fats, which are listed as zero grams on the label if they're under 0.5 grams per serving. This deceptive labeling allows manufacturers to list the product as trans fat free, even if it contains harmful trans fats. Trans fats are often derived from seed oils like soy, corn, and canola, which can contribute to inflammation in the body. Instead of non-dairy creamers, consider using organic cream or half and half for a healthier option without the hidden additives. Another controversial item on the list is soy milk. Despite being touted as a healthier plant-based alternative to dairy milk, soy milk carries some risks, particularly related to its estrogenic effects. In my practice, I once saw a patient who was consuming large amounts of soy milk every week and began developing breast tissue, a condition linked to the high levels of phytoestrogens in soy. Number six on our list is fast food salads, and it might surprise you. These salads may look healthy, but once you add the dressing, they're far from it. If you've ever looked at the ingredients in these dressings, they're packed with hidden seed oils, trans fats, starches, and high fructose corn syrup. You're essentially pouring a chemical cocktail over your salad and calling it healthy. Not only that, but the lettuce itself often contains sodium bisulfite, a preservative that keeps it from browning. This means you might have no idea how long that salad has been sitting there. To top it off, fast food salads go through a chlorine wash, which kills off both harmful and beneficial bacteria. So, the next time you crave a salad, it's best to skip the fast food version and make one at home. Finally, we get to number seven. Puffed cereals and rice cakes. There's a fascinating and rather shocking backstory here. A chemist working for Quaker Oats once noticed that rats fed with puffed cereal started to die prematurely. Intrigued, I decided to conduct a similar experiment in my basement. I had four cages, one with regular mouse food, one with whole wheat bread, one with white bread, and the last with puffed cereal. In the cage where I fed the rats puffed cereal, something strange happened. Their eyes turned bright red and bulged out, and they started dying within a couple of weeks. It wasn't the white bread or the whole wheat bread. It was the puffed cereal causing these effects. This experience was so alarming that I completely stopped eating puffed cereals and rice cakes. However, I had an unexpected twist in my experiment. While I was away for a seminar, some of the surviving mice managed to escape their cages. My wife found them running loose in the basement and wasn't too thrilled. So, unfortunately, I'm no longer allowed to conduct experiments with mice in our home. We had to call in help to capture them, and once I got back, I released them into the woods. Now that you know the truth about these seven foods, you can make informed choices to protect your health. If you're looking to learn about truly healthy foods that support your wellness, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And don't miss the video I've linked here for more insights on nourishing foods you'll actually want to eat.